Have you ever wondered why your specific media profile isn't available in your Onyx RIP? If you own an Epson printer, you may not know there are actually hundreds of available profiles you can download and use right now. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to download these profiles and import them into Onyx. Let's get started. So the first step is to actually connect your printer to Onyx with the serial number on your printer itself. So we're gonna go into configure printer, click yes, device, and we wanna to go to features, global printer options, and then configure. And it's the first option right up here. You just input your serial number and that allows it to connect to the Epson Edge dashboard. So the second step is to install Epson Edge dashboard and access your printer from here. You can see I have my R5070 already set up and ready to go. So I'm gonna go into the media settings tab here. And what it's going to open is two different libraries. You have the source library and your target library. The target is the printer itself, which is where you're going to send the profiles once you have them downloaded. But what we're gonna go into is this right here, this download EMX file. When you open that up, all you have to do is just click search, or you can be more specific with your media vendor or media type. And then from there, you can see a whole list of different medias with three different pages to go through and find the perfect profile for what you're looking for. So for this, I'm going to choose the Aurora Textiles Satin Canvas. You'll see that it's listed as an adhesive vinyl. You don't have to worry about that too much. That's just how the R5070 classifies different materials. So once that's done, you click download, so once the profile is finished downloading, you'll notice that it doesn't pop up right away. So we're gonna have to find it in our file explorer. You can locate the file explorer area by going into your preferences. And then you can see copy folder path where your EMX files have been saved to. So I'm gonna just copy this right here. Copy. And then I'm going to go into my file browser. So I'm just gonna go to my file browser here and I'm just gonna paste this. When I hit enter, you'll see you have different folders for each printer. I'm gonna to go to my R50 printer, and I see my satin canvas right here. So what you can do from here, you can also just copy this destination, and then when you go back into Onyx, we're gonna go back into that same area where you were putting in the serial number before. I'm gonna configure printer, device, features, global printer options, configure, and now that I have my global printer options open, you can see select EMX files right here. So I'm gonna click that, and I'm already there, but I can just show you this. If you just paste in the folder, now we have the Aurora Textiles satin canvas right there. We're gonna open that up. If you're selecting multiples, you can click select all. I'm just gonna select the one that I've done here. Hit okay. And then we're just gonna hit okay until we're out of this, this window here. So once all of my printers reinitialize, now I can go into my current media and page size, go to my media group, and you can see Aurora Textiles satin canvas has now been imported. So we're gonna take it a step further and just go back to our Epson Edge dashboard media settings. And that same profile that you downloaded before, you can also import it to one of your available options here. So when you select your satin canvas, I'm gonna just make that number 20. And what that does is that imports the information in terms of heating and platen gap into the printer itself for optimal printing. Now this may be different depending on which Epson printer you're using here. I'm using an Epson R5070, which is a resin printer. There is also the same option for the solvent line of, uh, of printers, the S-Series, as well as others. I hope these guides have been helpful and have shown that there are many other media profiles available in your Onyx RIP than you may have realized. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the IT Supplies YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching.